Hello everyone, welcome to the University Technology Mara Medical Department. Here we have compiled videos of core physical examinations. Those examinations include cardiovascular examination, respiratory examination, abdominal examination, upper limb examination and lower limb examination. The Respiratory Examination Introduce yourself to the patient and explain briefly your intentions to examine the patient and what it entails. Ideally, all patients should be offered a chaperone before any examination. Ensure the patient is adequately exposed. In the case of a male patient, they should be bare from waist up. Before examining the patient, remember to apply alcohol gel onto both your hands. Take a step back and perform a general inspection of the patient. First, look at the patient's hands. Look for signs suggesting tobacco use, clubbing, peripheral cyanosis and anemia. Turn both hands around. Next, using a watch, count the patient's respiratory rate and also pulse rate. Next, Get the patient to lift both arms up and pretend like they're stopping traffic to look for a flapping tremor. Now, inspect the patient's eyes for evidence of any conjunctival pallor. Look into the patient's mouth to look for any other signs as well. Now, examine for JVP or jugular venous pressure. Ask the patient to turn to his or her left and at a 45 degree position. In case the JVP is not visible, you can elicit a hepatojugular reflux. Next, feel for the trachea. Try to appreciate for tracheal shift. Then feel for a tracheal tug. The cricosternal distance can also be measured. Now, the overall shape and anterior posterior diameter of the chest should be acknowledged. Have a closer look at the chest. Appreciate any scars such as that of a thoracotomy. Have a look at both axillas. Any deformities of the chest should be commented as well. Now, put both hands around the chest to appreciate for chest expansion both in the lower portion and also the upper portion of the anterior chest wall. This is then followed by chest percussion. Percuss 8 to 10 different zones of the anterior chest wall, including the axilla. Percussion should be compared side to side. If any differences are appreciated, tactile vocal parameters can be elicited using the ulnar border of your hands. Ask the patient to repeatedly say 99 several times. Next, auscultate the lungs. 
explain to the patient that they need to take deep breaths in. Auscultate 8 to 10 different zones of the anterior chest wall, including the axilla. Again, compare side to side. If there are any differences in auscultation heard, vocal resonance should be tested for by asking the patient to repeat the phrase 99 several times while auscultating. Again, do this for all 8 to 10 different zones in the anterior chest wall. Explain to the patient that the examination will be repeated, but this time at the posterior wall of the thorax. Ensure that the patient is comfortable, use a pillow. Again, have a very close look at the posterior wall of the thorax, looking for any scars. Then, test for chest expansion, both upper and also lower zones of the thorax. Next, percuss the posterior chest wall. Again, 8 to 10 different zones, side to side. You can also do tactile vocal parameters at the posterior chest wall. Finally, auscultate the posterior chest wall, similarly to that done for the anterior chest wall. You can also test for vocal resonance at the posterior chest wall. While examining the posterior chest wall, test for sacral edema. The examination is then completed by examining for cervical lymphadenopathy. and also to test for pedal edema. Remember to thank the patient and ensure that the patient is covered up and comfortable. This examination is completed by checking the patient's vital signs for temperature and oxygen saturation levels, and if indicated, chest radiography and peak flow measurements.